I have been sent a box of goodies and it's time for a Green Stuff World review. Nick speaking and welcome to this video and if you're new to the channel and you want to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k then please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, so I was recently contacted by a company called Green Stuff World. I'd previously reviewed one of their Green Stuff tentacle makers. They saw that video, they liked it, and they contacted me and said, would I like to review some other stuff that they make? They said to me, have a look at the website and see if there's anything I want to review. Now I was very surprised when I had a look on their website. The amount of products that they do was pretty outstanding. And there was a lot of products I didn't expect to see. So I made a list of everything that I thought I could use and I would review on the channel. So I sent them my list and said, how about you also give me something to give away on the channel? I got an email back and they said, expect a parcel soon. I would seriously have a look at the website yourself. The website address is www.greenstuffworld.com Now as you can imagine, I was very excited to receive this parcel. So, let's have a look inside. Okay, so here is the parcel. Let's get this open. Now this parcel arrived in very nice condition and it came very quickly from when it was communicated that it was being sent out. In actual fact, I had loads of emails of tracking references, etc. So I was pretty impressed with that side of things. All right, let's have a look and see what we have in here. Very exciting. So we've got some polystyrene chips. So this thing is very well packaged and we've got quite a lot of stuff in here okay this is exciting right i'm going to unbox this and then we'll have a closer look at everything that i've got i'm dreaming of a white christmas okay so here is everything that i received in the box Bit of a surprise to be honest, there's only three items that was on my list of nine items to review on the channel. So the rest of the stuff is extra. I knew they were going to send me a couple of extra bits for a giveaway on the channel. So let's have a closer look at what they sent. Okay, so first we have this. This is a case of very nice tools. Now I'm currently using just the Games Workshop one, so just a single tool for my green stuff work and I do find it very limiting, which is one reason why I thought these would be very useful. So we've got a whole host of tools here, including some balls on the ends of these. We've got two different size balls. There's little hooks over on this side and a very, very pointy one. And then on this side we've got a square and then we've got three different pointy uh, angled ends. On this side we've got the more traditional tools with the flat heads on the top and these are much thinner than the Games Workshop ones so you're going to be able to sculpt a lot better with them. And on the other side of these tools here we've got some quite unusual shapes. These are going to be great for getting in and doing some detail work. So very impressed with them. Now the quality of these seem to be very good. They're full metal. They don't bend. You have to be a little bit careful. They are a bit sharp on the ends there. And of course they come in this very nice case which even has a little handle which you can just take out and then zip it around and then you can carry it around. So excellent. Really, really love that. Okay, next, another one of my choices was these weathering sticks. Now these are eight millimeter. I think they do some bigger ones as well. So these look quite interesting. Uh, effectively, they're a little sponge in um, a pencil sort of form. So just get one out. Uh, so yeah, you've got the little spongy section there and that goes right the way through the pencil. I think the idea is once you've used it up, 
you can just put it out and obviously until the, the whole of the pen's gone. But these look really good. Now I'm forever trying to find little pieces of sponge, so to have these in this little handy tube, probably in with my paint brushes, uh, very, very useful. So I thought those were pretty cool, and you get a pack of three. Okay, so next we've got these little rollers. Now you may have seen these advertised around. I decided that the plain one would be the one that I would like to have. Uh, because sometimes it can be quite difficult just to roll a nice flat piece of green stuff so that's why I requested the plain one however they do lots of other styles and of course they've sent me quite a few of those I think they're quite a new product so obviously they'd like to promote them so we'll have a closer look at them next now the other products which I also asked to review were cutting pliers, some high quality pliers for cutting your plastics, some needle files for filing down your models, some micro glass balls, some very small little balls to help you sculpt things like buttons, some wax picking pencils to help you pick up those very small items when you're sculpting, some hobby chains 1.5 millimeters, excellent for when you're making a Sonesh army. And some mixing balls. They do two sizes. I asked for the 6.35 millimeter, and those are great for putting into your paints, so when you shake them, you actually mix up your paints properly. So as you can see, some very useful hobby products. However, they didn't send me all of those, but they did send me these. Okay, so this is the first one. Now this is the new Necronic. Does that sound familiar to you? Necronic, and I can't open it. Open! Open! <sighs> Let's leave that loose. Is the Necronic one. And this is a rolling pin with Necron symbols on. How cool is that? Now just in case you're wondering what these are used for, the idea is to put some green stuff onto one of your bases and then to roll this over the green stuff giving you a very cool Necron base. Now not only do I have one of these, I have two. I wonder why they sent me an extra one. I wonder if that might be part of my giveaway coming soon. Necrons! Okay, so these are the other two that they sent me. We've got flagstone, which is like paving stones, uh, rectangles in, and squares in various sizes. Looks pretty cool if you want a paving stone. Maybe very good for Manifo or something, possibly. Uh, and then you've got the double diamond one, which is... Uh, literally, oh yeah, it's like urban paving stones effectively, with the dashes there. And the good thing about these is when you roll them on your bases, you tend to get different effects on the bases where there's different designs. So the bases can match in, but not all of them are exactly the same. So those look very cool. Now they also supplied me with these silicon rolling rings. Now, I have to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what these are, but I'm assuming that when you get your roller, you put the rings on the outside so you can adjust the height of the roller when it goes onto the green stuff to keep everything even. That's my guess. Um, I'm not sure if that's right. As I said, I didn't actually order these, so um, I don't really know, but that would be my guess. Now, they've also sent me this sculptor Vaseline. So this is basically a tub of Vaseline type stuff for when you're doing sculpting to basically stop the green stuff from sticking onto whatever you're sculpting it onto. So if you're sculpting it onto a table I assume you just put this down on the table first. Um, I tend to use olive oil but um, I'm sure this is a much better product than that. Okay, so next I've got some paint. So first of all, we've got this new colour shift paint. Now I've seen others use this. Seem to remember uh, some people saying that it works better if you're using an airbrush rather than painting it on with a brush. Of course I don't own an airbrush, so I will experiment with these I think, with a brush. And we've got Martian Green, 
This says it's a metal one, could be pretty cool. I've also got this one, this is another metal one. So this is Evil Forest, colour shift. And we have this one, now this isn't a colour shift, this looks like it's a fluorescent paint. That is bright, yeah, lime of course. That's pretty cool, I wonder if I can use that maybe on something Necron-ish. Gonna have to try it out and see what it's like. Okay, so next I've got this set of acrylic wash ink paints. Quite interesting. Uh, basically it says it's for washing, shading, blending and more. So they seem to be quite universal. We've got a big pack of eight different colours. A black, red, blue, a flesh, purple, green, earth and sepia. I'm going to be very interested to try these out. I've only ever used the Games Workshop uh, washes and glazes etc. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying those. Of course, as I do my painting and I use these products, I'll be updating you on how I get on with them. That's including those colour shift paints as well. Okay, so there you go. That is all of the products that they sent me and it's fair to say they do all look very good. I'm looking forward to trying these out and as I said, I'll be featuring them in future videos. Now, if you want to see these videos and you're not subscribed, start now. Hit the Edic Beer icon. And if you want to see me review the Green Stuff World Tentacle Maker, then check out that video there. Beam me up.